Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I forgot my intro then. <laughs> my mind just went completely blank. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Holly. I make food and fitness content. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me this week. This week's video is going to be a fun little discussion about the new hair journey that I'm going on. I'm not sure if you can see the, the curls curling in the back, but I basically decided to kind of strip myself back, put myself on a bit of a hair journey and actually start like genuinely looking after my hair and my curls as well. So I'm gonna be talking a bit about that, showing you my current hair care routine, but also going into my very like natural everyday makeup that I'm kind of wearing today because I bought so many new products while I was away this year and I found so many like ride or die products. So I just wanted to share them with you all and just show you a bit of like a nice glowy everyday base. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the video. We are really starting in the freshest way possible here. Like you don't get more naked than this. Like this is literally me as stripped back as I could possibly get. We are gonna start with skincare before we get into hair care because my skin feels so dry right now. So first thing I always, always do is put SPF on. This I found the other week from Glossier is insane. It's an SPF sunscreen. It just sinks into your skin. It almost feels like more of a serum, but it also kind of gives your skin a bit of like hydration and a bit of a glow, and trust me, if you're not wearing SPF every day, what are you doing? I literally put this all over my face. Always, always, always important. We're gonna go down to our neck as well. We're actually gonna go in with a brand new product. I've never tried this. It's the Elemis Pro Collagen Neck and Deck Colotex Balm. So it's basically a neck and a chest balm. So it's actually for anti-wrinkles because I, I know I'm young, I'm not saying I'm old at all, but I did turn 25 last year and I just kind of feel this like pressure to really, really look after my skin. Like you get one skin, like once your skin starts aging, that is it. So I just want to protect it as much as possible. And I know that having a stronger cream for my chest, I don't know the best way to do this, my God, having a stronger cream for like my chest and my neck is probably for the best, especially because you do start to like develop fine lines and wrinkles on your chest as you get older. So I just want to prevent that as much as possible. Now for the kind of moisturizer, what I'm actually going to do is go in with primer because we're going to be doing like a base of makeup so i'm just going to be showing you the base that i normally do because i don't want to put moisturizer on then a base because sometimes if you put too much product on it starts to like roll off your skin also this is like my super natural look so i just really don't want to feel like i have too much going on my favorite 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 base products are the bobby brown face base this is full of vitamins it just feels really good on your skin and you guys will probably have heard of these already i'm going to mix it with the drunk elephant bronzing drops what i'm going to do is go on and just put some of the face base on i'm going to go in and just apply not too much just like a little bit bronze i have got a bit of color from holiday still but my face there we go loses its color first well that's quite a lot then i'm just going to go in with this stippling brush i think that's what they're called do you remember when everyone used to do like all their makeup with stippling brushes like i feel like it's like a huge trend at one point where everybody was just going absolutely crazy over them but now i couldn't think of anything worse like it's good for moisturizer but that is it and this base honestly leaves my face feeling so hydrated like look at how glowy that is it's so nice i'm just going to pop a bit of lash conditioner on as well okay now my skincare is done i'm actually going to go in with a bit of the refi brow sculpt i switched between this and the makeup by mario one this gives you the most insane like laminated brow look this is a little bit more natural it's kind of better for i don't know maybe like a dinner date something like that like but this if i'm wearing less makeup i like my brows to be a bit more kind of like stand out the only thing i find with this is that it just leaves like a little bit of residue on your eyebrows or on your face like i tend to see it kind of like roll and that is the brows done right Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the hair journey that I'm embarking on. First of all, we're gonna take out the hair wrap that it's in. Wow, look at that little baby hair. I'm actually just gonna clip it up while we talk about this or I will not stop playing with it. So I have straightened my hair for 13 years of my life. My curls have not seen the light of day. That obviously putting that much heat on it. And when I say every day, like guys, I mean every single day I straighten my hair because I wake up and these bits are curly. So I'm constantly putting my straighteners on, curling these bits, curling the underneath bits when i'm going on runs my hair's getting frizzy underneath my hair extension so i'm going through it with hair straightener straight afterwards it just constantly has heat on it do i use heat protection no not really and that basically kind of in the first five years of straightening my hair really thinned out it just stopped growing so to counteract that i then got hair extensions i've had micro ring hair extensions i've had glue and tip hair extensions i've had tape hair extensions all of those as much as the tape ones didn't cause as much damage but ultimately all of those things and the straightening has just led to my hair being so 
so mistreated for so long and my hair has always been such a big source of insecurity for me like when i was growing up like all i wanted was straight hair i hated it i think as a child you just want to fit in like you don't like being different at all and i think my curly hair as amazing as it was i just didn't see it at the time because i just wanted to look like all my friends with all the straight hair and as soon as i found out what straighteners were that was it i was sold i was hooked i was just straightening it every single day i also developed from that kind of this narrative within my own head that like in order to feel and be attractive my hair had to be smooth and straight and sleek if it was frizzy and it was curly it wasn't attractive and i felt unattractive and like irritable which is so strange like if my hair got frizzy like i would noticeably be like in an agitated mood because i would just feel so like insecure about how frizzy it was and i know a lot of people will probably be like it's literally just hair like it's really not that deep and i do get that but from kind of talking about this on social media so many girls with curly hair like feel the exact same like for years we've just felt like you don't feel attractive with like your natural curly hair and it was kind of last year i started to notice like the damage got worse i've started to bleach my hair in the past year i wanted to go blonder the heat and the bleach damage was bad these front portions of my hair are so snapped like i will insert photos like i have never had these cut i have never had bangs cut in my life that is pure snappage and breakage and i'll put in some photos of what it looks like without hair extensions when it's straight as well because all around here is just snapped and i think that's from tying it up straightening it just not leaving it alone basically like it basically looks like a little bit of a mullet at the moment and when i was in la i don't know what it was i just kind of had a bit of like a realization of like i have been doing so much damage to this really natural part of me and i've been trying to change the way i look every single day for the longest amount of time and my boyfriend actually really encouraged me to like show him it curly and he really liked it and earlier this week so this is like a very new thing earlier this week i basically took my hair extensions out because i had an appointment booked have them refitted um and i thought i'm gonna buy some products i'm actually gonna buy some curly hair products and just give it a bit of a go which is what the tiktok video was and basically just see like how it comes out and it was so curly and i think for the first time honestly in my life because i've never liked it even when i was younger i think for the first time in my life like i actually looked in the mirror and i was like it's actually really cute and like it's something different and it's something like unique about me is that like my hair is curly and i just started to kind of view it as like more of like a gift rather than a curse because i actually used to think i was cursed that was why i had curly hair like i literally used to be like this is a curse like this isn't normal like my hair shouldn't be like this i actually took the leap post that video and like hearing all of your guys like amazing comments and amazing support to actually cancel my refit hair extension appointment because if i have hair extensions i'm gonna have to smooth it and straighten it because the hair extensions are straight and i've basically taken the plunge to start a bit of a curly hair journey and it's not gonna be a linear journey trust me like it's exciting at the moment because i'm trying out new products but my hair is very very short and i think that is what I don't like about it at the moment is I just wish it was longer but it's never gonna grow if I just keep putting heat on it and I keep putting extensions in it like I need to give it room to kind of like breathe and I'm gonna take you guys with me to kind of show you like the products I'm using to basically like revive my hair I've literally started this journey this week like I am still learning so much and I didn't realize how high maintenance curly hair was but I have learned a few key things and I've bought some new products so I'm gonna try out the new products today like if you think your hair is wet it is not wet enough also I'm gonna link all of the products that i'm using in the description box so i have showered i haven't got the best stuff shower wise at the moment but i am very kindly being sent loads of stuff from a few different brands off the back of the video that i made so i will have loads of like new exciting products to show you but i have got some styling products that we're going to use so this is just a tangle teaser diffuser i think basically from what i've seen is like moisture and like water are essential never brush your hair when it's dry i think is rule number one and yeah just essentially if you want to put any products on it make sure it's kind of wet so yeah, this is post shower, but I'm just damping it down again. I am also using rosemary oil to help it grow. I'm sure you guys have seen this on TikTok. It kind of blew up. Whether it works or not, I actually don't know. I'm very skeptical because a lot of the ones that I saw were on TikTok shop. So if anyone has used it genuinely and it has worked, please let me know because I don't know whether I'm just using it pointlessly at the moment. So this is the rosemary oil that I used and let's soak in and like scrubbed into my scalp with a little scalp scrub brush. It feels so nice to be able to like scalp my scrub again, trust me. <laughs> so I used that before the shower. I did dilute it because apparently if you don't dilute it it can actually cause like your hair to literally fall out so this is super super damp okay first thing we're gonna do is go through and actually rake a hair mask 
throw it. So I haven't used this yet, but I'm going to go in with the Sheer Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Enhancing Smoothie. I've seen so many girls use this. I'm just going to drag it through. These are the longest parts of my hair. I think they've kind of like avoided the heat damage. So these ones aren't too short. I think once I've done that, I'm going to go through and scrunch. Now I've done that, I'm actually going to go through and scrunch a scrunching jelly through. It seems like so much product. Like when I'm watching all of these videos, these girls, I'm like, wow, like you put a lot on your hair, but it does kind of seem like it needs it. And I feel like the more, the better. The bits that are struggling, I think the most are kind of like the bits around my face. So I'm going to go through and do that on each section of my hair. I can't wait to do like a reaction video to this in like a year's time when hopefully, hopefully I've stuck to it and my hair is longer, but also I'm probably doing everything completely wrong. God, my mom was like, it's very 70s. I was like, well, that's great because we're in, you know, the 20th century. I'm going to go through and scrunch it with the towel as well. Just kind of remove any extra moisture. I literally look like I'm five years old right now, which is great. I feel like this might ruin the front curls, but we can just go through and try and save them afterwards. So makeup, this is just like my everyday, very, very natural. I don't really like wearing a lot of makeup at the moment. Like I do genuinely feel like I'm very much coming into my like natural girly era. And I just want to kind of stay away from like looking too much because I have definitely had my time of looking too much. I'm going to pop some uni pictures in right now. Like who, who let me dye my hair with a box dye that was black and who was on eyebrow duty? Hmm? Nobody. Lip filler duty? Anyone? Nobody want to tell me? No, clearly not. I'm just really enjoying kind of like a very softer, more natural look. So first thing we're going to go in with is concealer. I am loving the Rare Beauty under eye concealer. I'm using this in the shade medium. This is such a nice brightener. And I just feel like if you don't want too much, but you do want to get rid of those dark bags, this is the one for you. So I usually just go in with that and then I'm going to go in with a bit of concealer. I use the Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 210. This has been my ride or die for the longest amount of time. It's very thick. I think that's why like I don't mind not having a foundation on because this does go a really long way. This one might be a little bit pale for my skin color at the moment. I'm going to try out a darker shade. I did actually pick up a new dark shade 235. So I'm going to try that and see if that just looks a little bit more natural on my skin tone at the moment. Oh yeah, that looks way better. I think the other one had too much of like a cool undertone and my skin looks quite warm when it's tanned. And then I'm going to do just a tiny bit under my eyes as well. And I always pop some here. I always drag some product like over my eyelids because they are just a little bit veiny. Now I'm going to go in one of my new favorite products, which is the By Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Medium. I love this so much. I feel like it's such a nice coverage, but also like color and i just put that basically where i would want like a little bit of a contour i feel like on my hair as well just quickly quite a lot of people will be like oh you should use a diffuser my only beef with the diffuser is i know they're really good for kind of getting like frizz free curls however they do scrunch everything up and i just don't want my hair to be any shorter than it already is so i'm staying away from them now we're gonna go in with my favorite product ever again this was one that i found in sephora it's by one size beauty and it's called the cheek clapper love that has a cream a powder and like a shimmer i just go in with the cream it does look a little bit dirty this is very pigmented so i don't want too much but oh i just love this so much like i am in love with blush i feel like if you're not wearing much makeup like a little bit of blush just kind of ties everything all in together I have just realized I literally have to go meet my friends, Fernandez, in literally 10 minutes long. So we're going to speed this up. Now I'm just going to go through my eyebrows with the Refi Brow Pencil. This again is like one that I just absolutely come back to time and time again. I've tried a few different ones, but this is definitely my all-time fave. Then what I love to do is actually use the eyebrow pencil for an eyeliner. I know it's probably a bit harsher on your skin because they're quite waxy, but I just feel like if I want like minimal makeup, this is literally all i need is just a tiny tiny little wing on the end there that is literally all i do <laughs> this is like the most simple makeup routine ever but this is just what i do every day i don't tend to put powder products on top if i'm not like going out just because i just feel like it kind of like i don't know it just feels like it suffocates my skin so i just prefer to have like a really glowy creamy base Another new product that I'm obsessed with is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but in the shade brown. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy they brought this out in a brown. I just feel like it just gives you like a really soft 
mascara look which i just way 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 prefer did forget another really good alternative for the eyeliner if you don't want to use that one on your eyes is the patrick tart rich brown eyeliner this one is again really nice and it just gives like a very natural kind of like smoky eye it's a little bit thicker so i guess it's a little bit more of a, a look if you want that and then finishing touches i'm gonna go in with the we Cherie setting spray and then this is my all-time favorite at the moment. It's so simple, but it's the Glossier. It's like a hydrating lip balm in the shade Villa. It's their ultra lip. I love this because I feel like it just gives you a little bit of color without being too much. But it's also super natural. So that is makeup done. I'm going to go and then come back and hopefully my hair will be dry by the time I come back and we can see the finished results of the hair care products. <laughs> We have definitely got definition. This is about an hour and a half after I last saw you. And this is definitely like the most defined the curls have been, which I like, but they're feeling super crispy. Like this is very wet look right now. Like I don't know whether I've used too much product. I text my sister because she's got curly hair and I was like panicking. And I was like, I think I've put too much product in my hair. Like am I gonna have to rewash it? But apparently what you can do is put oil through it and scrunch it and it like revives it. So let me grab the oil. So I've got this curl oil from Umberto Giannini. I think that's how you say it if I'm butchering it. I'm so sorry. And it's Bond Repair, Seals, Protects and Defrizzes. It sounds silly, but like this gets me excited because I'm like this, but like thicker, longer. I am down with I don't really know how much to use here. Like I think it's like, oh yeah, that looks so much better. Oh my goodness, it's so curly. That looks so much better already. Like it's so much less crispy. Okay is so curly i think sometimes when you say like oh i've got curly hair like i feel like for years i've been like oh, i've got curly hair and people are like okay like they think you kind of mean like wavy and i'm like no like we are a curly curly whirly i'm really really impressed i feel like so far these are definitely my favorite it is obviously like a work in progress like whether i feel like i'm ready to go out with a curly little bob i don't know i feel like that probably might take a little while but i hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video if you are also on a curly hair journey or if you are tempted like please just do it with me like that's just do this together because i know so many of you are messaging me saying they're like you've got curly hair but you've never had the confidence and neither have i but like i think doing it together would be like really really nice we can take like the baby steps and we can try different products together and yeah we can just learn to embrace like our completely natural selves together but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a lovely rest of your sunday please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next week